Dave here with Half Dozen Customs. Um, I took the fender back off. Uh, there's this brace here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what it's for. Uh, it wasn't hooked up to anything on the truck when it got here. Um, the other truck that I have here, they're there, but they're not hooked up to anything. So I don't know exactly what that brace is for. Um, but it's in the way of me making my cut in here so that I can move this piece over um, So I'm gonna remove it uh, Right now. Uh, I'm just gonna cut it at the top and cut it at the bottom and get it out of my way um, And we'll decide later uh, What it's for and, and whether or not it's gonna go back in Okay, um, so I cut that bracket out. <coughs> um, so yeah, so I cut that bracket out and, and I cut um, part way up through the wheel well. Just, uh, it was easier for me to do it off of, uh, off of the vehicle than it was on the vehicle. Um, but I want it bolted tight to the vehicle because I don't, I don't want too much moving around. I mean, I got to move stuff around, um, but I want the fender kind of locked in place where it needs to be. Um, and then, 
Um, I think I'm gonna, I, I got a piece of metal over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut up and I'm gonna brace it. I'm gonna put a couple of braces from the frame to the edge of this fender. Um, so that this, this part of the fender does not move. Um, I, I don't want to pull the whole thing out. I just need to pull this lip out. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna weld this in place to where it's solid um, and not moving. Like I said, I'm gonna put a couple braces down, um, and then we'll put our cuts in, and and hopefully we can pull all this over. Um, you know, in theory, it's gonna work. Uh, you know, I've never had to do anything like this before, so you know, it's kind of trial and error. Um, you know. Worst case scenario, it's only metal. I just weld it back together. Um, but it should work. Like I said, in theory, it'll work. Uh, I just gotta, I just gotta do the work. So uh, I grabbed uh, grabbed this piece of stock uh, scrap metal from my stockpile. Um, this was actually uh, to one of the garage door rails that they had it. I don't know, screwed to the garage door rail over here, and then this side they had it screwed to the wall that I removed. Um, so. It won't be going back up there because the wall is no longer there um, and that door doesn't even work anyway so um, if I ever make that door work again it's getting all new stuff so um, this this will never get used for that ever again and I don't know what else it would get used for so I'll be right back. Uh, my my alarm's going off on my watch. Um, it's garbage night, and if I don't go take it out right now when my alarm's going off, uh, I'll forget. Okay. Back after taking out garbage. Um, Actually, uh, a company stopped by as I was taking out the garbage, so um, so I got pretty late, pretty quick. Um, I got these cut up. I'm gonna I'm gonna grind up these ends, uh, grind up where I'm gonna put them. We'll get them welded in, and then. Probably gonna call it a night after that. Maybe I'll cut up there and just see what moves around. Fitness Quest Incorporated. I wonder if this came off some kind of workout machine.
figures. First spot I got into on there, I hit Bondo. Okay. Feathers ain't supposed to have Bondo on them. Backside's pretty much ready. I can I can start welding that back together. Um, I do have to run uh, along the top here again. So so what I did was I I cut all the way through, 
um, on this side so that it was loose. I could see that it was loose, but I couldn't pull it over to where it needed to go because it was just hitting up against the metal that I just cut again. Um, so what I did was I, I took a section probably about yay long, right on this corner, and I took about a half inch out. That allowed me to pull over to help exactly, I mean, I just kind of guessed, uh, and, and fell perfect, right in line. Um, so on this back side over here, uh, where the metal overlapped each other, I went back and I cut through, and I removed the piece that was overlapping. Um, now, now it bucks right up together, I can, I can weld that back together. Uh, I gotta do the same thing along here, it's overlapping, probably about the same amount as this. I'll run through, um, get that piece out, um, and then we can buck that back together. Um, I made a little slice up here and a little slice down here on the bottom so that I could push this top of this corner in to meet up with the cap. Um, which we, we are. So, um, I was hoping that this gap would close up a little bit with moving all this. Um, I wouldn't say that it closed up, um, but what it did was, um, it, it was wider at the top than it was at the bottom. So it was, it was going on an angle and now it's nice and straight. So I still got to cut this piece and move it over to meet up with the cab, um, which I figured, you know, I was going to have to do that regardless. Um, but now instead of me actually having to cut like a piece of pie out of it, um, I can cut a perfect straight strip, scoot it over, uh, and, and weld a perfect straight strip in there now. So, so I think that it's amazing with this so far, like what I, um, what I've had to do, like the door, uh, the door bolt doors on this, they were sticking way out from the cab on the top, um, uh, enough that you could see like inside to the door jam, you know, sticking out maybe a quarter of an inch. Um, I tried to, I tried to, to bend it over my knee. I tried to stand on it. I took it off, put it on two by four. Tried to stand on it. No, nope, this door it wasn't moving. I mean, these are some thick doors. I, I made a couple of cuts with my whiz wheel at the at the bottom of the door, and it, and it fell right in place, like exactly right where I needed it. Um, you know, same thing with this, you know, I, I just made the cuts where I felt they needed to be and it, and it fell right in place. I mean, it's, it's weird. It's like it knows where it belongs. It just, something was wrong with it when it was stamped or something. Um, but pretty cool. I, I think, you know, I, like I said, I thought about this over probably the last month that I've been working on the cab of what I was going to do to make um, this fit. Um, and I couldn't come up with any better idea than what I just did. And, and it worked out perfect. It fell right in place. I made two, two big cuts and two little cuts and, and we're good. I'm almost, I think another, another, uh, Oh look, I cut this piece out too. He was a good piece. Good, good bunker that I cut out. Oh, this was that half inch I cut out of up here. Um, but anyway, sidetrack. Um, I think maybe another hour spending on this tomorrow, just uh, cutting along that line and, and maybe cleaning it up, grinding it up. Um, I, I can start uh, welding this back together. So, very, very cool. I'm very happy with with how that worked out. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video of uh, how to adjust a panel that just won't adjust. You cut it and you make it adjust.
So, I'm out. Thanks for joining us. Remember, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. See y'all tomorrow.